Hi, my name is Rich Madden. I'm a full-time Merchant Mariner, a part-time maritime instructor here at MyTags. I've been sailing now for about 33 years, and I'm currently captain on a mid-sized container ship running worldwide. And in my vacation time, I am here as a part-time uh, instructor and simulator operator. So here we are in the control rooms for the full mission bridge simulators here at MyTags. We have two full mission simulators. Uh, they are only two of 12 different simulators, if I've calculated correctly. But these are the full mission bridge simulators. On my left hand side, we've got bridge number one. And on my right hand side, we've got bridge number two. So we have a uh, simulator operator and the instructor up here operating the, the ships and also watching what the attendees, what the students are doing up on the bridge. Interestingly, this is also very similar to what we might see in the future for remote operated ships. As the industry is pushing more and more for the idea of autonomous or remote operated vessels, we are actually doing that already. And a shoreside operating room might look very much like this. The only difference is we're operating virtual ships here and when we go live with remote operated vessels, it's gonna be real. Aside from operating the vessels, we are observing the people up on the bridge and it's uh, recorded both uh, video and audio. We have uh, microphones throughout the bridge as well as different cameras. That way we can get different angles, uh, see people's facial expressions and try to look a little bit more at some of the human factors involved. So from here, we're going to go up to the bridge simulators. Usually we don't bring students or attendees through here to try to maintain the illusion that you're actually working on a ship. So we'll take you down basically the back way and then we'll show you how people would come in to the bridge normally. Thankfully we're on bridge two. So we have a briefing room for both bridges. Uh, this way we can have a class in here doing whatever classroom material that they need to cover before going up to the bridge. Or if we're doing a navigation assessment, we'll have the person being assessed come in this way. And then as we go up to the bridge, it is very much like walking through a ship and going up to the bridge. You'll even see we have captain's office or radio room to Help create that illusion. And then here we are actually on the bridge. And right now we're in the inner harbor of Baltimore. So these uh, simulators were actually designed back in the 70s with input from the Panama Canal pilots. And one of the things that they focused on, and not to make a pun out of it, was the focal length from the bridge to the actual image. And the focal length here, I don't remember the exact distance, but was designed to make it as realistic as possible. So now that we've seen a little bit of the inside of the bridge, we'll go down and take a look at what the simulator looks like, basically from the inside of it. So this is considered to be the, the bowl of the simulator. Uh, we've got the bridge itself and all the projectors sitting in the middle of the bowl. And then the graphics are projected onto the walls of the bowl. Uh, from down here, you can see you know, it's a simulator. It, the realism is gone, but you can really see the inner workings of it. You can see the hallway and the stairwell up to the bridge. What's interesting is underneath the bridge, you can see hydraulic rams. You see hydraulic rams as well as posts here. When this simulator was first built, the graphics weren't very good. In fact, all of these scenarios were at night because all you could see were lights of the shore or lights on the other ships. And to get some of the illusion of movement, the bridge itself moved on the hydraulic rams. Now that graphics are so good, we actually don't need the hydraulic rams to make your brain feel like it's moving. The graphics are so good that as the graphics move, even though the bridge stays steady, you, you feel like you're rocking back and forth. And in fact, some people have uh, issues with that and become seasick. up here 
here on the bridge deck right now, actually out on the port bridge wing, port bridge wing. And we're going to go up to the next deck above the bridge where the projectors are. So we're up above the bridge, a little bit echoey up here, but uh, this is where all the projectors are and actually the, uh, the computers that run them as well. So we have the computers staged up forward and then all the projectors for the different sectors. see a lot of uh, equipment out and about right now. Just like any piece of technology, it needs to be updated periodically, and we are putting in new projectors for this bridge. Uh, bridge number one uh, has already gotten laser projectors. We're now putting in laser projectors on bridge number two. But just like the Truman Show, if you go far enough across the water, you'll find the emergency exit. <laughs>